Hey friend, you have recorded the best podcast episode ever using GarageBand, but when you're playing it back, you can hear some background noise and hiss. In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to get rid of it in the recording that you've made and how to help avoid it in future recordings. For this video, I'm using GarageBand version 10.3.4, and this recording was made using a Samsung Q2U USB microphone. Before we get started, I'm going to tell you to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell so that you will be notified when I release new podcasting tutorials. Now let's get rid of that background noise. Welcome to the Brassy Broadcast. I'm Jen Eads, the head broad in charge. Okay, and we can hear some background noise. And I'm actually going to put this in the cycle range and turn that on by just hitting the letter C on the keyboard so that we can loop it back and you can hear that. So that's what we wanna get rid of. And we are gonna start by coming over here, hitting this dial icon to open up the smart controls panel. And then we're gonna to go to this pane down here and we're gonna turn on the noise gate just by ticking this little box. And we're gonna play that back and hear how it sounds. So it's still there. So we wanna start by moving the slider. And you can hear that the noise has been significantly reduced. So we're going to turn off the cycle range and play this whole thing. Welcome to the Brassy Broadcast. I'm Jen Eads, the head broad in charge. Okay, so that's not bad. We can adjust the noise gate by sliding this. And if I come over here, listen to what happens when we play the recording back. Nothing. So you need to be really mindful about where you are setting this so that it's not cutting off any words. Welcome to the Brassy Broadcast. I'm Jen Eads, the head broad in charge. You really need to watch the S's. Let me slide this over a little bit more. Brassy Broadcast. I'm Jen Eads. Here out sounds really choppy. So you just really need to adjust this and season to taste. Come to the Brassy Broadcast. I'm Jen Eads, the head broad in charge. Much better. So that is how you get rid of the background noise and hiss in an existing recording. There are a number of ways to do this. There are a number of tools out there. This is specifically just showing you how I use it in GarageBand. I would love to know what other questions you have about recording and editing your podcast in GarageBand. Leave your questions in the comment section below. Now let's talk about how to avoid getting that background noise and hiss when you record in the future so that you don't have to worry about getting it out later, or at least it's going to be a little bit easier. Now I'm not going to get too technical here, but this is where we need to talk about the difference between gain and volume. So gain is the level of sound that's coming from your microphone and going directly into GarageBand before it hits the noise gate or any other processing like equalization or compression. And volume is the level that's coming out that you're hearing through your speakers. So that's a really simplified overview of gain versus volume. I want to show you where to adjust the level of sound coming in because this is where you might be getting some of that background noise. To adjust the gain, that level of input that your microphone is sending to GarageBand, we're going to go up to the Apple icon, we're going to go into System Preferences, and we're going to go to Sound, and we are going to look at input volume. I typically have mine set around usually about like 80% or so. You don't want to drag it all the way to the right because you're much more likely to get clipping and you're going to get a lot of background noise that way. So I typically keep mine right about here. So this is where you're adjusting what is actually going into GarageBand. Down here is the output volume. This is going to adjust what you're actually hearing in your headphones. So just be mindful. This is where you make that adjustment. I encourage you to record with less gain because you're going to get less background noise and then you can always go back in and add that later. So we're going to come down here, hit this arrow, we're going to select gain. I put my gain up here after the noise gate. We're going to double click on this gain 
and come up here to the top, I typically add about three dB of gain to get started. You can do that by adjusting it with the arrow or just type in a three. And then that's gonna boost what's coming out. This is how you can record at a lower gain so that you're not picking up that background noise and hiss and then adjust it when you go for editing and post-production. And then right here, this slider is where you adjust the volume. So if we play this back, Welcome to the Brassy Broadcast. I'm Jen Eads, the head broad in charge. So that's where we are adjusting the volume. So what's actually coming out of your speakers or your headphones. And that's it. That's one way that you can remove background noise and hiss in your podcast using a noise gate. You can get your ultimate guide to my favorite podcasting tools and resources at BrassyBroad.com. The link is in the description below. If you found this video helpful, leave a thumbs up and check out more videos on my podcasting tools and tips playlist and share this with a friend if you've got somebody that needs to watch it.